guys, it's Anaikam. It's Jenna G. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my kitchen. We in the kitchen. We're going to be preparing breakfast for you guys today. And the menu we're going to be doing, we're going to be making fried bake with boljol and some fried plantains. Before we continue with the video, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification button as well. The bell notification button is just to ensure that every time I post a video, you get a chance to check it out one time because you'll get a notification. And of course, you'll get to share with all your friends and your family. So this breakfast menu is actually like a typical uh, favorite, one of the many traditional or typical style breakfast menus that you know, you'll come across if you ever visit Trinidad or if you ever hear about Trinidad. One of the favorite things or one of the many things that we like to eat is a burjol with like fried bake or float is what they also call it. So let's jump into the video, let's check out the ingredients and let's start cooking. Alright guys, so let's talk about the ingredients. Before we start of course, we're talking about the ingredients we need for our bake or our float. So in this bowl I have some all-purpose flour, baking powder, some salt, some yeast some sugar goes in there as well now the thing is for the bake if you want to use the baking powder and the yeast up to you i prefer to use those two but you can use either one for our bowl jol, of course we need our salt fish i prefer to buy this in the pack it's much easier to work with and we're going to be using cabbage sweet pepper carrot pimento tomato onion and we're going to be using a little bit of garlic powder for some extra flavor so the first thing I'm going to be doing is kneading the flour and setting this aside to give it some time to rest so I'm mixing all the um, ingredients together so it's all nicely incorporated before we add in the water the water that we're using is warm lukewarm water helps to activate that yeast So you're going to basically knead it until it's nice soft and you have that smooth uh, dough ball. So once you finish kneading it, we're just going to be setting it aside, cover it with a damp cloth for about 30 minutes or so. Um, you can rub some oil on top of it too, olive oil if you have some, it helps to keep it soft. If not, just cover it with a damp cloth and we'll check back in about 30 minutes while we work on our burjol. So while we have our dough for our float or our bake um, resting, we're going to put the salt fish up to boil. Um, and husband also requested boil egg. So I have some a pot up there as well for some boil egg for him. So we're going to let that boil for about 5 to 10 minutes. It depends. Um, um, use salt fish before and it took longer time to boil than usual so what i would no normally do is just taste a little piece of it just to make sure so give it like 10 5 10 minutes give it a little taste and then you could you know get an idea of how much more boiling it needs so we don't need any salt for this because that's going to add the salt factor to this dish so we've got all our veggies prepped and ready to go into the pot the salt fish we're going to check on it I'm just going to put it all together. Takes no time at all. So you've got all salt fish finished uh, boiling. So I just removed it from the heat, removed it from the water, and just mash it up into small pieces using your hand or a fork is fine as well. Got my pot up. Got some coconut oil in there. Once it's hot, I'm going to be adding the onions, the garlic, the pimento. So heat is between low, medium, or on the low side. Cook it for about a minute or so. Then in goes the salt fish. Tomatoes and sweet pepper go in. And then the carrot and the cabbage. Just gonna leave it on the heat for about a minute, two minutes until the cabbage melts down nicely and believe it or not that is our salt fish burjol just before it's finished add that garlic powder 
And that's about it guys. This is what our dough looks like guys. Um, we did the bourgeois. So it's about half an hour later. Increased in its size. So now we're going to roll it out. And we're going to fry them. So you are there are two ways you could do this. You could roll it out. You could fry them in circles using a cookie cutter or roll each one out. Or you can just take a knife and cut them into pieces. So I'm going to be making three different, um, separate it into three different dough balls. Set these aside. We're going to roll each one out. And I'm going to cut it because it's just easier. So once you roll it out, just cut it in quarters and then we're just going to fry them. And just in case guys, you know, you circle shape, if you have like, uh, if you want to do the circle and not the triangle, the different ways you can go about it. So you can roll each one form into like smaller balls and roll each one out or you can just roll it out to one large uh, circle and then use like a bowl or even like a container anything that you have at home and just shape it and you see how nicely they swell just flip it over and of course you could fry it until it's as dark as you like some people like it when it's very dark and crispy some people like it more on the light side so guys the bake all finished so i did some triangles and another shape why not so y'all could play around with it you know do any shape that you like and we've got our saltfish bulge all done boy leg and some plantains i actually put them in the air fryer so uh you have that option as well So this is what it looks like on the inside. Alright guys, so our breakfast menu is all ready or finished. We've got the bake and we've got the bulgur. Um, threw in the boiled egg there and we had some plantain or well some moko that uh, I put in the air fryer. So just a couple things to note with your bake when you're rolling it out. Do not roll it out too thin. It will not um, puff up or swell properly. You want to make sure that your oil is hot when you do put it into the oil. Also play around with the shapes. The easy way for me roll it out, cut it into quarters, put that to fry. You want to roll it out, use a bowl or use cookie cutters, whatever you have to make different shapes. Go right ahead. The bulljaw, of course, play around with the amount of the different vegetables you have in it. Add more or less if you like. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Of course, this is uh, like a typical uh, breakfast menu item. You'll find it in if you go to any small uh, food shop or anything um, on a morning before you head to work. You're probably guaranteed to get these options uh, presented to you if you want to choose a breakfast item bake for sure the bulljol is a must people love the plantain and husband actually likes putting the egg boiled egg in the sawfish and bulljol as well so he makes a little nice egg and bulljol mix chukash some kind of thing he does but he likes to eat that with his, with his bake as well so like i said hope you guys enjoy this video we will continue we'll be doing um thing we're going to be trying to do more of the simple meals so this the only reason we would have done done this menu is just because we have stuff that we're trying to use out in the fridge and nothing goes to waste but remember during this time try to keep it as simple as possible once you can keep things um, as simple in the kitchen you know don't cook too much and be too extravagant thanks so much for watching guys i will see you guys in the next video